away and welcome to uh, McClendon Studios, Random Thoughts and Observations. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr. And today I'm going to tell you about uh, one of the EMT stories. This one happened right after I became an EMT. Um, back in uh, Iva, South Carolina, was with uh, the Iva Rescue Squad, which is Rescue 6 there in Iva, South Carolina. The Iowa South Carolina Rescue Squad won all sorts of awards in what's called SCARS, the South Carolina Area Rescue Squads, especially for extrication. They were very good at what they did, and they were the best in the state for a long time. I don't know how they are today. It's been many, many years since I've had to deal with the Iowa Rescue Squad, but I bet they're still great. Anyway, uh, I was sitting in the uh, backyard cleaning out uh, my mother's car and uh, getting it ready, vacuuming it out, and... Uh, I had my uh, monitor with me, and I heard the Iva tones go off, and that meant that we had a, uh, a rescue to go to. Well, I hopped in my car, like my mother's car, hopped in my car, went over to the rescue squad hut, pulled the uh, ambulance out of the hut, because, see, at that point in time, I lived right there at the hut. I could almost walk to the hut and be there quicker than anybody else, but I drove because if I didn't drive, I'd probably get run over by people uh, crossing the road you know, in their cars as I crossed the road because uh, they wouldn't look. Anyway, so I drove to the rescue squad hut, got the ambulance pulled out, went ahead and got in the back where the EMT should be, and as it turned out, a more senior EMT showed up. And so uh, off we went. We had uh, a driver that was an EMT, a senior EMT, and uh, me that had just got my EMT license, and we went to, of all places, Snuffy's Pool Hall, which was right across the street from my father's store, the Western Auto Store. Well, when we pulled up, my father was standing there in the parking lot looking, watching, and as I got out of the back of the ambulance with the uh, jump kit in my hand, he started pump pointing at the ground. I'm like, what? And I couldn't understand what he was saying, but what he was really telling me was get over there. Well, I didn't know this. I didn't understand what he was saying, so I went ahead with the jump kit, went on into the uh, bar, and uh, there was a bunch of people standing around and a guy with a pool cue going through his head. I don't remember exactly which direction it went, but it, uh, uh, it had gone from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top. I don't remember exactly which one, but it had gone all the way through his head. And what had happened was this gentleman and another one had gotten into a fight and the other gentleman had uh, gotten mad and just shoved the pool cue through the guy's head. Well, lo and behold, the uh, guy that got pool cued sons showed up and there was shooting on both sides. There's all kind of shooting going on and that had uh, taken place before we got there. Well, we got there and there was the guy with the pool cue and uh, I got... Uh, they're helping the uh, senior EMT, and we were stabilizing the pool cue because we couldn't very well uh, just carry him with a pool cue in his head. Uh, so we got it stabilized so that it wouldn't wiggle around. We didn't uh, take it out, and uh, we couldn't very well cut it out, but we could unscrew the uh, ends to make it a little bit shorter. And I looked up, and there was my father standing with his 357 Magnum in his hand. He had come to protect me. Anyway, so he's standing around, he's watching everywhere, and the sheriff's deputy showed up uh, after we've gotten the guy on the stretcher, and after all the other excitement had taken place, which was about par for the course for the sheriff's deputies back then, they'd come to write up the reports, they wouldn't come to actually stop any crime. Anyway, so uh, we got the gentleman onto the hospital, and he subsequently died, but uh, I found out how much my father really loved me because he went in there to protect me at putting his life in peril. And that's the story of the pool cue to the head. Now, um, that was a very short story, but let us know if you uh, have any questions or comments. Please drop the comments into the comment box, either down below on the uh, blog post, if you see this through the blog post, or in the uh, page for the uh, video, if you're seeing it on YouTube. Um, or drop us an email to gindysvideos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. And I thank you very much. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video, or just before it, we receive a small commission. Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. McClendon Studios is a participant in the Amazon Services LLC Associates Program an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to Amazon. 
Suzanne has written a great book of poetry. It is called Shattered. You can find it on Amazon.com. We have a new book. Many people want to know if homeschooling will work for them. This book may help you answer that question. You can find it on Amazon.com. We also offer you the book, How to Pay Off Your Debt. Buy it on Amazon.com. On the 15th of July, 2016, all of our books will be free in honor of the birth and death of our angel baby, Dorian Lee McClendon.